Let us all rejoice in the Lord as we celebrate the feast day in honour of all the saints at whose festival the angels rejoice and praise the, God, the Son of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good, after, good morning, my brothers and sisters. We come today to celebrate the solemnity of all saints, where we give honour and glory to God for all the saints that are in heaven. And so as we come together this morning, we pray in thanksgiving for the elections that we've had, and we pray now that the country can go forward with the elected officials, and that the decisions that they make will be done in the interests of the country. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us in the mass of our last day. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated to the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merit of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors and abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel ascend from the rising of the sun with the seal of the living God. And he called with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm earth and sea, saying, Do not harm the earth or the sea or the trees. For we have sealed the servants of our God upon their foreheads. And I heard the number of the sealed, a number of 44,000 sealed, out of every tribe of the sons of Israel. After this I looked, and behold, a great multitude which no man could number from every nation from all tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, 
who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood round the throne and round the elders and the four living creatures. And they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these clothed in white robes? And from where have they come? I said to him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all who dwell in it. It is he who set it on the seas, on the rivers he made it firm. These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The clean of hands and the pure of heart, whose soul is not set on vain things. These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. Blessings from the Lord shall he receive and right reward from the God who saves him. Such are the people who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. It does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when He appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy burden, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, seeing the crowds, Jesus went up on the mountain. And when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. 
Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men rebel and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, this morning we celebrate the Feast of All Saints. And I'm sure if we think of the word saint, we might have all different perceptions of who a saint is. For some of us, it might be an idea that a saint is a holy person who spends most of their day in prayer. Most of their day taken up in the glory of God. In many ways, maybe looking at a person whom we might think as super values or super powers. For others, it is someone who we know, someone who once they have given their lives to the Lord, then everything goes well with them. And for others, a saint is a person like you and me. And the reality is that a saint is a person like you and me. When you read the lives of the saints, you very soon come to realize that they are you, that they had to endure difficulties, that they had to overcome obstacles in their sinful in their own lives. But the one thing that we must remember is that they were sinners like us, that they put their trust and their faith in God. They put their faith and trust in this gospel reading today. Their lives centered around trying to the best of their ability to live out these eight Beatitudes, also commonly known as the Sermon on the Mount. That they have really recognized their own weaknesses, their own sinfulness. They will be the first ones to say that they battle with sin in their lives. That they also battle to pray. You just to read some of the memoirs of St. Mother Teresa, and you see she tells you, although she spent an hour or two in meditation each morning before she commenced her day, for her at times prayer was very dry. Just sitting there, nothing really happening. And it was difficult to discipline herself to sit there quietly, just looking at our Lord Jesus Christ in the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. Mother Teresa did not have an easy prayer life, as you might think. And you could read many other saints to read the Saint Teresa. St. Teresa of Avila, another one. She wrote a book called The Dark Soul, the, dark, the Soul of the Dark, the Dark, the Soul of the Dark Person. And, and, that, and that is, I don't know what the title of the book but it's a, The Dark Night of the Soul. So it's The Dark Night of the Soul that she wrote. And she, for 30 years, persevered with dryness in her prayer life. And so, yes, life wasn't easy. The saints, the people like you and me. 
And today we celebrate not only the learned saints, like St. Bernard, St. Ignatius, saints that have been, been canonized as saints by the Church. We recognize every single human being who has walked this earth and has passed through the gates of death and now live in the full glory of God, in the fullness of the beatific, beatific vision of God. Anyone who is in heaven is a saint, because that's exactly what is happening when the Pope canonizes someone a saint. What the Church is saying is that particular person is definitely in the full presence of God. So anyone who is in the full presence of God is a saint. So your mothers and your fathers, my mother and my father, they are in heaven and I would pray that they are. They are saints. This is why you know, sometimes I do talk to my mother or I talk to my father. Not very often, but I mean, I should have to talk to them if I believe they're there. They pray for me, I hope. I'm sure they pray for me. And so anyone, and so we're celebrating sainthood, people who have lived ordinary lives, who have gone through the struggles of life and have acknowledged that sometimes in their life they weren't close to God, but now they are close to God. And they had a conversion experience in their life. These are the people we celebrate. And what gives us courage today and should give us hope is that as these people lived ordinary lives like you and me, they are now in the presence of God. So too, if we live our lives according to these gospel values, recognizing that we need God, that when we say we are poor in spirit, it's not that we feel poor, but we are poor in our relationship with God. We recognize that that is something we might need to try and improve on. And we recognize that there are times that we need to mourn for our sinfulness. And that we shall be humble. Humbleness, Jesus constantly spoke about being humble in the gospel. That we need to try and be pure of heart. Not to look and do things that are wrong, but to try and keep our hearts pure, doing the will of the Father, to be the peacemakers, to be stand up for what we believe in, but also, very importantly, to stand up for the gospel values, and even more, also importantly, to stand up for what the church teaches. Because if we want to say, that we are in communion with one another in the church, then we have to stand up for what the Catholic Church teaches. And we have to stand up and we have to try and live out those morals and those teachings to the best of our ability. And we also need to be aware that we need God. And this is where he says, that when we are persecuted, because people will persecute us for what we believe, and we say, yes, but this is what Jesus did. Then, as he says, that wonderful thing at the end of the gospel, our reward will be great in heaven. And this is something that I think today is why today is so important to each and every one of us. And so therefore, my brothers and sisters, let us put our faith and our trust in the Lord and Ask the saints to intercede for us, but also let us look at our patron saints, those saints that have meaning in our lives, and turn to them and ask them to help us in the trials and tribulations that we have to go through, that, we, that they will be there for us, that they may intercede for us, that we pray that they may continue to pray for us, and help us in those difficult situations. And look up different patron saints who mean different situations. Because there are some things that we need almost constantly in our life, and we might pray to that particular saint. But there might be at some time in our life, maybe at one point in our life, that then we are experiencing a particular problem. 
And there's a patron saint for that. We just need to look on Google and uh, type in patron saints, and you can look and see the index and on what do the patron, patron saints of all the different ailments and uh, professions and everything. You will find it in, in that index. And to just then maybe pray for that particular saint at that time to help us through that particular problem that we might be experiencing in our lives. And so therefore, let us put our faith and trust in the Lord and ask the Lord to help us that we may follow the example of the saints and live lives worthy of one day ourselves when we pass through the gates of death, becoming saints in the kingdom of heaven. Together now we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial of the Father, through him all things were made, for us, <clears throat> for us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was he found of the Virgin Mary, and he came back. For our sake he was crucified on a conscious pilot, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and the seat of the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In communion with all the saints and in the name of Jesus, let the incense of our prayer ascend to God, whose children we are. that acknowledging our complete dependence on God's gracious gifts, we may be counted among the poor in spirit, whose future is God's reign. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That those who mourn with broken hearts or spirits may be comforted by God's compassion and consoled by God's people. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the meek and lowly who claim God's preferential love may set their hearts on the land and the future of God in preparing for them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That all, the, all who hunger and thirst for goodness in the free face of human injustice may taste God's goodness in this life and be filled in the life to come. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That by seeking peace and pursuing it in, it in this life, we may at the last day be counted among God's angels and children. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That those persecuted for righteousness' sake may be strengthened by the promise of the kingdom they will inherit. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember in our prayers all those involved in the consultation for the Bishop's Synod, 
as we say together the prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Father, continue to pour out your Spirit upon your Church as we journey to the Synod 2023. Grant us a new vision of your glory, a new experience of your power, a new faithfulness to your word, and a new consecration to your service, so that your love may grow among us and your kingdom come. Bless our commitment to realize in a synodial church and to deepen in our communion to fruitful mission. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, Mother of the Church, pray for us. The quiet prayers of our own hearts allow God to touch our deepest needs. In silence let us bring ourselves into the presence and seek his will. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious the earth. God of all the saints, we bless you and we thank you for their lives and witness. Help us to live a faith as faithful disciples of your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good all his holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be peace into you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints, to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
be thee truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the Church, through whom you give us, in our frailties, both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with, with the multitude and saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you all to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Ignatius and Saint Bernard, and with all the saints, on his constant intercession in your presence, we rely upon faith in hope. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, and Stephen our Bishop, Sylvester Hegel, Zurich Bishop, 
the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained up for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at departing from this life, we find admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, reformed by divine teaching, we gave to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. In a moment of silence, let us pray for peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 
So look, Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, liberate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of a heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We thank you for joining us for Holy Mass this morning. We pray that we may bless you through the coming week. Go forth the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.